Hey guys, it's JR. It's said that when you point your finger at someone, the other four fingers are pointed back at you. Uh, that's not true, because the thumb is actually pointing to the ground. So it's actually three fingers. With that said, when you give someone a thumbs up, the other four fingers are pointed back at you. It's a simple analogy that reminds us how differently pointing the finger versus praising other people can affect our lives. I was, I used to be, well, Okay, sometimes I still am a very impatient person, and whenever things didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be, I would snap. Yeah, I would snap, and other than that, I would also look for someone or something to blame. I could be running up the stairs, trip and fall, get up and be cursing the steps. Yeah, that's actually quite accurate. I remember when I was in the fourth grade, my parents' friends' kids were over at our house and I asked them if they wanted to watch cartoons. So I played my favorite cartoon, Transformers, eh, 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 out about to transform on VCR. And somehow the tape broke inside, it got all tangled up. And I was very upset about it, but I can't believe what I did to them. I started to blame them for wanting to watch cartoons. There, I said it. Okay, that. That was a bit over the top. Now when I look back, it all seems silly and immature. And it also means I have grown up after all. Eventually. When you place the blame, you are shifting the responsibility onto someone or something else. This what might seem to be like an easy way out is actually taking away your power and credibility. You see, with great power comes great responsibility. And when you take away the responsibility, you take away the power. I just went off script there. <laughs> I was, just came up with that line. So when you blame, you are basically telling yourself, no, it's not my fault because I have zero power to change that situation. And each and every single time you do that, you are giving away a little bit of power and a little bit of control over your life. Yes, indeed, there's gonna be times that other people are gonna be responsible for the situation in question, but could it be that you may have had more or less or even a tiny bit of a saying in it? Why am I doing this? Over the course of time, I was lucky enough to learn, understand, appreciate, and even practice the idea of having no excuse. I can listen to, take advice from anyone I want, or the other way around. I could be the master of my own mind, listen to nobody. But remember, at the end of the day, it's my call. And whatever the outcome, I either take credit of or take responsibility of, because it was my decision. And I gotta admit, there were times I was dead wrong, ended up in the gutter, and it was like, but I owned up to it, sucked it up, learned from my own experience, and every time I did so, I was empowering myself. We're the Power Rangers! And in addition to the self-growth aspect, laying blame is detrimental to any relationship. According to studies, blaming is contagious, if you will. When you blame, you're basically telling everybody, hey, let's hurt tonight. You blame, I blame, everybody blame. It's spreading this tendency to encourage people around you to not take responsibility, and you probably don't want a bunch of irresponsible people sitting around you. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> so quit pointing the finger because every time you do so, right off the bat, you have three pointed right back at you. On the contrary, always be generous in praising other people because, you know, people's hearts melt right away when you take the effort to make people feel positive about themselves. And it also gives you a positive vibe. Isn't it strange whenever you say something nice about somebody, you instantly feel better yourself? It does, right? It's like, ooh, I feel like an angel. Sorry, this is my best angel impression. Anyways, even with the minor things, from things like saying, you look good in that dress tonight, I want you to say it in a perverted way, to things like, good job, great performance. Those sincere compliments may seem trivial, but they bring such a great impact on other people. And just as blaming is contagious, so is praising. When you genuinely compliment, praise other people, they'll catch that vibe, and they're gonna be way more willing to give you a positive response. What's even better is, they pay it forward. That's me, and that's three people, and I'm going to help them. Other than that, people who feel appreciated and recognized are more accepting of criticism. Oh, hey, I just want to let you know you did such a great job on that presentation. Honestly. Oh, well, thank you, man. Yeah, no problem, bro. Means a lot. And stop being a brown nose. Whoa! Well, wow, thank you, man. Now that is the most honest advice I've ever heard. See? By praising other people, you are actually doing yourself a huge favor.
When you give a thumbs up, always remember there are four fingers pointing back to you. You are the best. You're welcome. To wrap it up in a motto, 人的内心要飞起来,身体才会飞翔。称赞比礼物更能让人展翅高飞。I have no idea how to translate that into English.